Hello and welcome to another Purveyor of Light Photoshop Quick Tip. Uh, today we're going to show you how we can uh, improve a photo that uh, necessarily didn't come out well in camera uh, with regards to uh, lens flare. And so I went ahead and I selected this photo online uh, as a good example of, you know, a little bit extreme lens flare uh, on the landscape. As you can see here on the left, I've got a huge uh, lens flare area. And uh, so we're going to have to do some work to try to get that lens flare removed. And um, depending on how extreme it is, is how well you're going to be able to get it out and make it believable. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can do here. All right. So first thing is I'm in camera raw. And so I'm going to take advantage of camera raw right off the bat. And I'm going to uh, use the dehaze. And I'm going to just run the dehaze and try to get the haze off the picture. Now you see if you go too far, if you look in the sky in the upper right, you can see we're already banding and everything. So you can't be too heavy handed on it, okay? But we could find a happy compromise maybe about there, okay? So we've, we've lessened it, okay? Here's the before and there's the after. We've taken the haze off the, the mountains and hilltops here, but we still have that huge... Uh, huge huge lens flare on the left but we'll go ahead and start with that so we'll open the image okay so here we are we've got and uh i find that it's easier to work with color and light separately okay because right now we're looking at it you can see we have a yellow uh, yellow color cast uh maybe in the reds as well in there um and we have a lightness and darkness issue, right? And so I like to work on each one separately. And I find the easiest way to deal with that first is to, uh, you know, make a few worker helper layers, as I call them. Okay. So I'm going to make a uh, black and white adjustment layer. So I'm going to go to adjustments. Okay. And if you don't have it, just come on down here and you can do the adjustments the same way. Okay. So you go down there. And you can just go ahead and hit black and white. That gives us a black and white image where we can now, if we look into it, we could see the color is gone from our view, but we can actually really see the brightness and darkness differences of the lens flare. And that's what we want. So we're going to make another couple helper layers for ourselves. So adjustments again, and I'm going to make a couple curve layers. Go adjustments and curve layers again. And again, uh, if you don't feel comfortable coming up to your adjustment panel, just come on down here and then do your adjustment curves down right here. Okay. All right. So now I have these two curves adjustments. First one, I'm going to uh, call it a darken. I'm just going to put a D because I'm lazy today. So that's my darken layer and that's my uh, lighten layer. All right. I'm going to invert the mask on each one of these layers. Okay. Command or control I turns it, inverts it. Do the same thing on the next layer. Command or control I reverts it. That removes all the effects. This one here on the curve, I'm going to, uh, I'll drag it out here. My properties. There we go. So I want to take the curve and I want to do a darken. So I am just going to pull down right across, okay? Just darken the whole image, okay? All right, so next thing, I'm going to go to this layer, and I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm actually going to lighten it, okay? And the reason we're not seeing anything is because we are in a black mask. All right, so darken. So... Now, using my default brush, okay, if you don't see the black, white and black uh, patches here, uh, hit D on your keyboard to go to the default. Uh, select your brush tool. Then I want you to go to a very low flow, okay. Uh, the lower the better, okay, because you can always build an effect. So I'm going about 10% flow. And a very soft brush, okay, so I'm at zero hardness and just a normal round brush and i'm going to 
look here as I paint in white, okay, on the mask, okay, I'm actually going to apply that curve to the area of the photo I wish. So I'm just going to come in and just paint, and you can see I'm instantly making the uh, photo match. Instead of where it flared out, we are now matching the color, okay? And if you make a mistake, not a problem. Just hit your X key and then repaint over it, and that reverts it back to what it is, okay? But what we're doing is we're working on light and darks, okay? And if we take this off, you can see there was the uh, the original lens flare, and there it is without. And you're going to do a lot more time and effort and care on working on your image. I'm doing this quickly just for a tutorial, so I'm not going to take the time to, to blend everything perfectly. I'm giving you the, the technique to work on, so to speak. All right, so that takes care of the, the darken of the flare. I could turn off the flick, and you can see that we now have quite a bit difference in the image, but we still got a lot of work to do. So the next thing is I'm going to uh, going to go into, and I'm going to do a selective color because if I turn off the black and white area, what do we have? We have like a, a yellow cast, a red cast, magentas in there. Uh, so we need to correct those things. So another adjustment layer. And this time I'm going to use an adjustment layer called a selective color. Okay, very first one on the bottom. Selective color. And now with these type of lens flares, we're generally dealing with the yellows, the greens, the reds. Okay, those are the channels that are really affected with these. So if I go to the yellow channel and I switch here, now I just, uh, I want to see if I'm in the right area. Just throw the sliders and you can see, am I affecting the lens flare? And the answer is, I most certainly am. Magenta, uh, most certainly affecting, okay? The yellows, most certainly affecting. And again, I'm only concentrating on the lens flare. I don't even see the rest of the picture. Don't even look at it. I'm only concerned about affecting the lens flare. I want to get the lens flare color cast correct. So now it's, we're going to reset them and we're going to go back to work here. And all right, so now we have our colors and we're on the yellow channel. And I am going to see now moving the cyans up. That does help quite a bit. Uh, the magentas. It does help quite a bit too. The yellows. And again, I'm only focusing on the lens flare area. Okay. And blacks. Okay. See the blacks, how I can affect the, the top and that. And that's looking pretty good. Okay. I still have a big bunch of yellow here, but we are improving. All right. So I am going to go, I'm going to do another selective, uh, color layer okay so I come back in and this time i'm on another layer and i'm going to see what i can do to improve um i don't think reds are really going to do much but i'm going to put it on a yellow channel and see okay it does it does help okay so i'm going to bring the add on uh the magenta uh Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're trying to look for a compromise. Yellows. And again, a compromise. And black. Bring our black point over. Okay. So now we've used those two combinations of two layers to try to help improve. And you can see we are making a big improvement on the lens flare originally. Okay. So if we go back to where we were, okay. You can see this is what we started out with, okay? And with our adjustments, we are here already. So we're making a huge adjustment. Now, like I said, you're going to be doing a lot more care when you're working your image than I am here in the tutorial. Uh, you're getting the techniques, and then you'll have to go in and do the hard uh, work on blending and everything and going together. Okay, so the next thing is 
I might want to try to cheat a little bit, and I might want to, uh, let's say, do another camera raw adjustment. All right, so I'm going to take all the way at the top level, and I'm going to hit uh, Command Shift Alt E, make a stamp layer. Okay, that's all the layers combined. Then I'm going to right click on it, and I'm going to uh, cause it to be a smart convert to smart object that lets us have smart filters in that and then i'm going to do a camera raw filter and go back in and i'm going to see if we can uh, you know just use a little more of the dehaze now and to make the effect and i'm watching i'm not caring about the sky i'm not caring about the rest of the picture i'm only caring about the lens flare okay so I'm trying to find that happy medium. All right. And I'm going to say that's my happy medium. And now I've applied that. And so now you can see how much of improvements we're making on the photo. Again, everything's we're building on the effect to get the end result. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to get a new layer. So I'm going to come down and add a blank new layer and I'm going to just try to bring some of these colors together, okay? So I'm going to take the eyedropper, and I'm just going to select a nice green region, okay? That's nice and green for me there, and that puts that as my target. And now I'm going to take my brush, and at a low flow again, I am going to uh, paint on this blank layer. And I'm painting that green, okay? Now, don't worry about muddying things up like you could t honestly tell that I am muddying up the picture. Okay, that's because we're on a normal blend mode. But now if I take the blend mode for this layer and I switch over to color. Okay. Now watch the effects. I'll turn it on and off. See, there's the, the cast, the color cast, and there's without the color cast. Okay, so switching just the blend mode to color has enabled us to just change the color without affecting the textures and of the picture. So we're looking pretty good. Okay, let's go back to where we were. And uh, there's our beginning point. All right, quite a bit of difference. And currently where we are, we've, we've practically got uh, all the lens flare completely removed. A little bit of blending needs to be done and maybe increase in the contrast a little bit. So one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a curves adjustment layer in again. So I'll come up, put a curves adjustment layer. And this time I'm just simply going to do an increase of contrast. I'm going to use an S curve. So I'm going to put a dot there and a dot there. And I'm going to do a classic S curve. Not too strong, just subtleness, okay? And I'm going to come in and raise that up. That's looking pretty good. Okay, so that's the way the effect is, and that's the way that is. Now, remember I said, you have to make a decision on your individual photo. I'm choosing to leave a hint of the, the light coming in because I think it makes it look more natural than if I totally blocked out the light on the left. Okay, so that's just a creative choice. So now what I'm going to do is I could choose it to affect the whole image or I could take the mask and command and control I to invert it. And then I could just take a white paintbrush and with my brush and now I could just paint in that contrast where I want it. Okay. And that goes on the mask. Okay. And so I turn that on and off and you can see it's very subtle. Okay. And I don't know if it's going to come out on the video, but trust me, that little touch of contrast brings everything together and so there we go so the before and after the before okay and you could see how pronounced that really was how much haze and how much lens flare and then after we have really done a really good job on removing the lens flare and uh so there's your technique. It took a few layers to get it done. But remember, small adjustments and build on the effect, you get a quality product at the end.
Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you have a great remaining of your weekend. And I'll talk to you next week.